This is my review of the Jewelbox Hummingbird window feeder, which is made by Aspects. This is the box that it comes in. It's a good sturdy box for storing the feeder through the winter months when you're not using it. Inside the box is the feeder, what they call the jewel box, that holds the nectar. This is an amp moat that is also included, which cradles the feeder. There's a registration card because Aspect supplies a lifetime guarantee against any damage or defects. And at the bottom is detailed instructions of how to mount the feeder, which is very easy to follow. Inside the feeder itself, you'll find a bag of parts for mounting screws, suction cups, and spacers. And the bracket that you need to mount to install the feeder. Now, there's two options for mounting this bracket. You can use it on the glass of a window on the outside, or you could also mount it to the window sill, the wood sill at the bottom of the window on the outside, or some people have actually mounted it to uh, a deck railing. In the parts, you'll find two suction cups for the window pane mounting. And two short screws. The way this works is the suction cup goes here and the screw through the mounting bracket to hold the suction cup. You would have two suction cups like this which just stick onto the outside of the window. You have to make sure that you thoroughly clean the outside so that there's no residue or dirt so that it will stick properly. The other option, like I said, that you could put on the window sill or a wood surface, you would use a long wood screw and a spacer. You need to use the spacer to keep it level, otherwise it would tilt and the feeder wouldn't be level. Once this is mounted, the two options are using it without the amp moat. There's two slots on the feeder which slide on to these tabs. You can also use the amp moat, which I highly recommend because if there's any way for ants to get to the nectar, they'll find it. This also has two slots which slide on the bracket. And the feeder goes in here, which is cradled by the ammo. The nice features about this is, uh, for one thing, it's red. It attracts hummingbirds. You don't need to color your nectar. There's a lot of people who think that they have to color their nectar. It's not necessary. In fact, we highly recommend against it because you don't know what's in the coloring or food dyes. Uh, it could be harmful to the hummingbirds. You don't need it. The red is fine for attracting. They're attracted to red and orange flowers, brightly colored flowers. I have some hummingbird feeders with no red on them at all. They're clear and the hummingbirds still use them constantly. It's hinged for easy cleaning and filling. Another nice feature about the Aspects feeders, there's nubs on the bottom which support a bee guard. If you have trouble with wasps or bees getting inside the nectar, you can prevent that by using these bee guard tips. They're plastic, they're small plastic. There's a tiny hole at the bottom, which a hummingbird can get through with its tongue. Its tongue will, its tongue will fit through that little hole. These slide on these nubs Like that. That way, a hummingbird can get through, but the wasps or uh, bees can't access the nectar. This perch 
is a high-rise perch which surrounds the front of it. What's nice about this is that it's raised and when the hummingbirds are feeding, it's a great video and photo opportunity because they're not hidden on the back of the feeder if they were down low. We have ours mounted in front of our kitchen window, right in front of the sink. And I think that they get used to your presence because you're there all the time. And when they come to feed, they get used to you. If you just open the window and have some patience, they'll come, if you don't move too much, they'll come to the feeder and use the feeder. You'll be able to get great videos and photos. I'll have some photos. There's some photos inserted below this video on the page. As far as cleaning goes, we recommend cleaning the uh, feeder every time you change the nectar, which is usually three to five days, depending on if it's in the sun, how hot it is. The uh, most we recommend is going five days. And when you clean it, you should clean the ant moat also because there's water in it, there could be bacteria or mold. We sell brushes on our store that work great for cleaning the ant moat like that and also a port brush which is really handy there's two different sizes there's a smaller one and a larger one this one actually the large one works great for this size there's different size ports and you may need to use a smaller one in short i would have to say that this is my favorite window hummingbird feeder uh, because the, the box is a nice feature it's not you know, a big thing, but the box is nice for storing. Every winter I've been storing mine in the same box for five years now. Uh, the ant moat is a great feature. Uh, if we don't have feeders with ant moats, I highly recommend using a separate ant moat, which I use on feeders that don't have built-in ant moats. Uh, the vers versatile mounting options are great. You can mount it to any wood surface or use it to uh, stick on a on the glass of a window pane. The raised perch is great for videos and photos. Lifetime warranty, which uh, not many feeders come with. Aspects has been really good in honoring their guarantee. I've been using this for five years. I think the first time we put it up, the hummingbirds took to it within an hour. They were there feeding and they've always used it year after year. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I uh, hope you gained a little insight into the mounting options, how to use it, uh, how to take care of it, and maintenance. Thank you for watching.